Okay, guys, we're going to cover how to extend the stay without messing somebody's credit card up. First of all, if you add the days first, it's going to authorize to their card instead of taking a payment. So they're going to have an authorization. And then we take a payment for every credit card. So it's going to have an authorization tied over two or three days plus the payment. We don't want to do that to them. So we have to post the payment first, just like when we check them in. Let's go in here and get the rate. We want to know what the rate is with tax and everything. It's 45.74. So if we add two days, that's going to be 91.48. So let's go in here and post the payment for 91.48 on the folio. Primary because it's the customer's card. and hit post payment. Once that payment post, and you can go back in there and add your days and it won't authorize the card. It'll use the payment that you just posted for those days. Let's go back in here, add the two extra days, make it 12 instead of 10, apply changes and hit keep original rate and it'll it'll give them the rate that they paid that they've been paying. That's it. Once you post the payment first for however many days you're gonna add, just go add the days and it's a done deal. Simple as that guys, how to extend a stay.